our old friends Leeds United are the next to walk through the gates of a hostile Lions den and they bring two familiar faces with them. Do you know what? I'm weirdly confident. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share as always. It's free and it takes less than a second. So press that red button. This is my pre-match prediction for our game this weekend. A Sunday game under the lights in a sold out hostile SE16. As our old friends, the old enemy, Leeds United, come to town. And let's hope... We send them home with their tails between their legs. And like I said in my intro, I'm weirdly confident. I am weirdly confident. We've had two very, very good improved performances. We've had a break. But we normally know what goes, what kind of performance comes after Millwall and having a break. It's a little bit laboured. It's a little bit, it's a little bit disjointed. So let's hope live on Sky in front of the sky cameras that um we continue where we left off um when we put in a very very good solid mural performance at home against Stoke City. So let's hope the boys have re energized, re um recharged and we can go, we can go again. But look, Leeds United come to town. They're a very, very good team. Very good side Leeds United under of course, Daniel Farker. Um, and they get they got relegated from the Premier League last season after previously staying up two years on the bounce. Was it one of them after Marcelo Bielsa? Um, yeah, but look, enough about them at the moment. Look, that they are in not the best of form, but not the worst of form. Um, I couldn't really tell you what their form is like. Um, to be quite frank with you, I'm going to be honest. Don't really care about Leeds. I know they are below us in the table, but they're going to come here. They've got a massive fan base, massive club, like we said. Um, two hostile sets of fans, live on Sky. So it's all it's all looking towards a very, very good atmosphere in SE16 on Sunday. Um, but look, I'm not going to keep you here for long, because th this game we don't really need to talk about. This game, this game and the London derbies... You don't really need to talk about them. They should be able to get themselves up for this game. They should be able to get themselves up for this game. And the, the game should really talk itself up. Do you get what I'm coming from? Um, Leeds United. It's Leeds United. It's dirty Leeds. No one likes Leeds, do they? Um, so, look, the boys should be re-energised. And they should be absolutely buzzing for this game. Like I am. And like I said in my pre-match prediction. In my... In my Intro, sorry, because this is the pre match prediction, Henry. Um, I'm weirdly confident. I am weirdly confident. We always beat Leeds. We always beat Leeds. We beat them at Adam Road. We beat them the last time they were in this division. Um, we, we don't normally lose to them. Or we don't normally get taunted by them. So, Tuckwood, that is not a sign of things to come. Um, look, before the international break, we were good. We were good. We got a win against Stoke. We got a very, very good earned draw against um, Birmingham City. Um, so, look, we, we got to go into this game. And I'm assuming we're going to go into this game full of, filled with confidence. Yes, we got some injuries. The goalkeeper is injured and will not be playing this weekend. The gaffer has already said that Bart is in line with to start the game. Um... Two back-to-back -back player of the year. You don't become a bad player overnight. Yes, he's 34, 35, 34 years old or whatever he is. I don't care. I don't care. My goalkeeper saves the ball. And I'm pretty confident in his ability still that he knows how to save a football. Um, yes, he was rubbish against 
um, um, Reading in the Cup. But that's that's one that that is one that that you're just looking at him in one game. Do you get one coming from? Um, yes, I may be a little bit nervous, but look, Bartman is Bartman for a reason. Two back to back player of the year, so he will win goal. Joe Bryan, I'm hearing that he could actually potentially be back in line to start this game. Um, Casper Denor is back in training. I do like the look of the new... Is it Longman? Yeah, Longman. I like the look of him. Um, I like the look of Alan Campbell. So, I don't know what he's going to go with. Um, that's why he's a manager and I'm not. Pay to make the right decisions. Um, but, look, I'm weirdly confident. One thing that I'm going to say is we need to play two up top. We need to play two up top this Saturday or this weekend. We need to play top top at home, really. Um, I think that's the way we all need to play um, to get Fleming back involved in it a bit now. Um, Kevin Nisbet, two two goals in two games. So, do we not fix what isn't broken? I think we should. Um, so, in that matter, I think I would go with an unchanged team from the team that got a draw against Birmingham City. Um... And we go from there. Um, but look, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a very, very good game. Um, and I, th- I think, I just have a feeling that I think we're going to get the business done. We're, we're going to get the, we're going to, sorry, we're going to get the job done. So therefore, I'm going to go with, what am I going to go with here? I have I have four three in my head. I don't know how who's gonna score the three goals. Four goals, sorry, I really don't. But you know what? It's live on Sky. It's live on Sky, so that what that only means one thing, didn't it? A Tom Bradshaw at trick, live on Sky. <sighs> Stuff it. I'm gonna go with Millwall four, Leeds United three. Yes, I am. I'm gonna go with who, who am I going to go with? I'm going to go with Juicy Juicy Jake Cooper. I'm going to go with Fleming. I am going to go with Joe Bryan. And I'm going to go with... Yeah, right then. I said Bradshaw Hattrick, but I'm going to go with him to get one. So I'm going to go with Brothers. I'm going to go with Joe Bryan. I'm going to go with one of the midfielders. And I'm going to go with Juicy Jake Cooper. In the last second, or whoever scores in the last second, to get up the three points, it's going to end in SE 16. We will four, Leeds United three, a helter skelter up and down roller coaster Saturday, Sunday afternoon. I will see you there if you're going. Please put a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Four three, Millwall. Coming the lines.